Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark. Hope you enjoyed that uh, intro. This, my friends, is a 2005. Had to ask Noah again because I messed up four times. I was like, it's an 04, it's an 04. No, it's an 05. Hope you enjoyed the beginning of the video, guys. Um, 2005 Ford F 250 FX4. Um, beautiful truck with a set of fuel 20 by 10s wrapped around a beautiful brand new set of 33 1250 20s. Let's go check it out. So, it's that gorgeous Buell, 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 blah, 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 blah. blue paint with the wheels. These are Fuel's um, 20 by 10 wheels uh, wrapped around a mud train renegade, radar renegade. 33, 1250, 20 inch tire. Full crank right, full crank left, no rubbing whatsoever. And the best part about this truck is it's not too high, not too low. Thanks for blocking the sun. That's why I love No. He's always blocking the sun for me. <laughs> um, not too high, not too low to where it gives you the aggressive stance. I'm right at six foot tall, the Anthony gauge right here, sitting right next to the mirror. These are 2008 plus mirrors right here. Uh, recon lights, cab lights or no? No. No, no, no cab lights there. We got these projector bug eye, hideous looking headlights right here. Now some of you guys like them, some of you guys don't. But my preference on these front lights right here is that, I mean, they look cool. I, I understand what they're, where they're going with it. They tried to incorporate the new style trucks and an older look, but I don't know. Some people like it, some people don't. Me personally, once again, it's a personal opinion. I don't like them. I like a factory look better, but the truck suits them very well. We got a carbon fiber aftermarket grill right here. Um, nothing really too fancy about this. The clear coat's peeling off on it, so it's not too spectacular. Um, and the other side's fine, you know? It's got a few rough, it's, I'll be honest with you guys, we'll walk around the front side, we'll loop, make a loop around the back real quick. Um, it's got a few rock chips, it's got a few dents, it's got a few scratches, has a little bit of rust, not gonna lie. It's been in Virginia, I'm pretty sure, most of its life. Um, the famous things on these truck, trucks, a little bit of rust right here starting, you can see it's starting right there. The bed rails do have rust, I mean it's pretty rusty bed rails. The truck's been undercoated completely, um, 100%, front to back. Walk around to the back, this is the FX4 mall, aftermarket LED taillights. Um, factory factory bed right here, factory four bed liner underneath. Um, looks pretty dirty, so I'm gonna close it. <laughs> um, walking around the side right here. Uh, it's got a full MBRP exhaust and the best part's yet to come, ready? Check it onto the hood. I'm gonna show you guys, we gotta go to this perfect spot, Noah. You guys are waiting for. I know you are. You're, you're, you're asking yourselves right now. You're saying 6-0, right? Yeah, it's 6-0. Has it been studded? Well, yeah, it's been studded. Check it out. Right here, look. I'm gonna see if you can get a zoom in picture. Maybe I can take the camera from Noah. All right, ready? I'm gonna show you guys. Perfect shot right there. Boom, there she is right there. Studded. There you go. Can't really see it too well because it's hard to get it. When you go on the driver's side, I know you. All, I know all you critics out there are gonna be like, "Oh, you, you gotta go on this side to see it." Well, you gotta see and kind of see it. But anyways, um, it's got an SMB cold air intake system. Um, it has. That's pretty much it. So EGR, uh, oil cooler, ARP head studs, full exhaust, and a SCT. I'm gonna give you the camera back, Noah. Why is it not focusing? There you go. There you go. Careful. Uh, beautiful lariat interior. Um, a little bit of hate right here on the side of the seat. A little bit of wear, no rips, no tears, but a little bit of hate. Uh, 192,410 miles. WeatherTech floor mats, ice cold AC, four by four, horn works, no sunroof, all LED lights inside. And the gauges look really nice. Check it out. If you've never owned these trucks, guys, the gauges are absolutely beautiful. They really accent the truck well. You got Black background and the beautiful white face gauges or silver face. Double din Kenwood CD player. Um, I usually have you go on that side and fill me in where, but it's the sun's right here, so I'll just jump on this side. Hey, I'll give you the phone back, ready? And I'm gonna jump to this side. There we go, now we can see a lot better. So, um, nothing really in there. Um, truck's clean, it's a clean truck. WeatherTech mats in the back. You get the Lariat stitching inside the seats. And um, you got the auxiliary switches right here, so you can hook up whatever you want. And the cool part is, is people always say, hey, 
Mark, where do you wire up the auxiliary switches? Um, you can wire up directly to the back or there's a port inside the engine. It's a quick connect. They're already grinded out and everything and they're good to go. Um, that's pretty much it on this truck. So hope you guys enjoy the truck. This is Mark signing out. See ya.